Okay, you know why you're here. Let's get into it. For the 4 zero case, there is really only one way of setting up to the arrow case, and that's the M prime U two M. So just swapping two edges, or the M U two M prime is basically the same thing. Uh, that's what we're going to be using to set up to good arrows. We're just going to be using that one technique. So the first set of cases is where we have both of the left and right edges misoriented. This first one is where they're opposite. The next one's going to be where they're adjacent, and that'll be it since this case has a lot of symmetry. So a lot of the cases are just mirrors or something along those lines. Uh, this is really easy. In fact, it's almost as good as an arrow. This is a one move EOLR. You just do an M prime or an M, and you have misoriented centers, and all your edges are oriented as long as those two opposite ones are in the M slice. This next case is where they're adjacent, and this is one of the worst EOLR cases. There's not a very good way to set up into a good arrow. We're just going to have to take the L on this one and go and set up into a mediocre arrow. So in this case, since they're up here, we're just going to swap these two using an M U2 M prime, like that. Pretty intuitive. And now we just have a mediocre arrow, so we'll swap these using an M U2 M2. And then we're set up here and we can actually cancel. Now we're on to the half and half cases, as I call them. We have one that is misoriented and the other that is oriented. There's only one case in this category, but usually there will be many. Because of the symmetry of this case, there's only one, where there's one misoriented in the top and one oriented in the bottom. You can solve this many different ways, or two different ways. You can either Bring the oriented edge into the top to be the base of the arrow using an M prime U2 M, like I just showed there. But I prefer to keep it in the bottom just because I prefer that arrow. So I'm going to do an M U2 M prime and bring the other one up, the other oriented edge from the back up. And now I have this good arrow. This next case is not very intuitive as far as EOLR cases go. Um, this is the final one where they're both oriented. There's only one case for this category. They're both in the bottom. Uh, and in this case, what you're going to do is you're just going to do an M prime U, M prime U. And that sets you up to a one in one case, which is solved M, U, M, U. So a good way to remember this is that you do M prime U prime, M prime U prime, M, U prime, M, U prime. So it's the same thing, just with opposite um, M slices. So that's a good way to remember it. And then that gets you to the good arrow, obviously. You continue from there. If you want to see my next video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And like the video and comment down below if there's anything you would solve differently. I'd really like to receive some feedback on what uh, I might be doing wrong, what I might have missed. I don't want these to end up missing cases. Like, that's a real problem that I saw in some other ones. Alright, bye.